anything and everything. Do you ever wonder how to? Do you ever wonder why? About anything and everything. Then Doris is your guy. Anything and everything will open your mind. Anything and everything with Doris. Anything and everything with Doris is online. Remember. Remember. Anything and everything with Doris. Hello, everyone, and welcome. You are listening to the Anything and Everything with Doris podcast, and I am your host, Doris. This episode is brought to you by WYSK Spark Radio, where they play uplifting music to get you through the day. You can find it on Live 365 Spark Radio. Hello, everyone. How are you today? I hope you're feeling blessed. Today's topic, sunlight. I know it gets a bad rap, and everybody knows that it increases your vitamin D, which is good. But you know what? I want to talk about the immunomodulatory effects of sunlight. Now, for y'all I don't know what that means, it's simple. It's just a substance that affects the immune system, and it could be something man-made or something as natural as sunlight. But as long as it affects the immune system, it can be known as an immunomodulator. Now, many believe that sunlight exposure has harmful effects, yet recent evidence suggests that sunlight may improve immune function. Beyond its ability to increase vitamin D levels in your body, Researchers have demonstrated that sunlight can improve the motility of infection-fighting immune cells and discourage the spread of pathogens in hospital environments. Did you know that in recent studies, it has been indicated that sunlight exposure may have immunomodulatory effects and protect against infections, including acute respiratory infections, such as influenza. And there are also studies that have shown that high levels of solar ultraviolet radiation or UVR exposure are associated with lower rates of allergies, autoimmune diseases, and cancers. While these results are often attributed to increases in vitamin D, researchers have now demonstrated that sunlight exposure can improve immune function by improving the motility of killer T-cells. Researchers also point out that infectious outbreaks, including influenza, tend to happen more often during the winter months when many people have little to no sunlight and UVR exposure. Additional research from Columbia University suggests that UV light can kill even drug-resistant bacteria without inducing skin damage. Researchers believe there are two main facets that explain sunlight exposure's effect on immune function. Number one being increased levels of vitamin D. Sunlight exposure is widely known to increase vitamin D levels in your body. Skin cells absorb UVB radiation during skin exposure and convert it to vitamin D, which is metabolized in your liver and kidneys and used throughout your body to regulate calcium, increase beta endorphins, and stimulate the immune system. A deficiency of this important vitamin is linked to an increased risk of cancer, heart disease, obesity, depression, cognitive impairment, and bacterial and viral infections. Unlike other essential vitamins, since vitamin D is synthesized in your skin following UVB exposure, sunlight exposure is vital for improving vitamin D levels and subsequently improving immune function. If regular sunlight exposure isn't possible due to your climate or lifestyle, vitamin D supplementation may be useful. And two, energization of infection-fighting T-cells. 
Sunlight, particularly blue light and UV light contained in solar rays, energizes T cells by triggering the production of hydrogen peroxide in these cells, which then enhances their motility in the skin and improves their infection fighting capabilities. Researchers theorize that the photosensitivity of T cells may help to explain sunlight's positive effect on immune function and suggest blue light therapy as a possible therapy for immunocompromised patients. And if those immune boosting effects weren't enough, researchers have found that sunlight may reduce the risk of infection in healthcare environments. As the majority of airborne microbes that cause infection cannot tolerate sunlight and are especially susceptible to direct rather than diffused sunlight. Researchers theorize that time cues from sunlight help to regulate biological rhythms, which may enhance immune function. In addition to that, they suggest that hospitals and healthcare facilities be designed to allow sunlight to reach occupants, as even sunlight through glass may discourage the survival and spread of pathogens. So now that we know about the improving immune function of sunlight, let's go over a few things we may already know about sunlight exposure being linked to a wide range of health benefits. Sunlight increases vitamin D levels. High levels of vitamin D are important for improving inflammatory response, lowering blood pressure, increasing cognitive function, and lowering the risk for certain cancers. Researchers estimate that sunlight exposure accounts for 90% of most individuals' vitamin D levels. So if you're not getting much sunlight exposure, you are most likely to be deficient. Sunlight heals skin disorders. Various skin disorders including eczema, psoriasis, acne, rosacea, they have been known to improve through regular sunlight exposure. And as many of us already know, sunlight has been well known for improving melatonin production, a penile hormone responsible for triggering your body's circadian rhythms and improving quality of sleep. Melatonin also plays a key role in inflammation and infection, and suppresses UVR-induced skin damage. Sunlight may also improve weight loss. There have been animal studies that have found that ongoing low-level exposure to UV radiation can reduce weight gain and improve cardiovascular health in subjects fed a high-fat diet, perhaps by reducing certain aspects of metabolic dysfunction. Sunlight also provides emotional health benefits. With ongoing low-level exposure to sunlight, it's associated with improved mental health. In various studies, participants with depression and seasonal affective disorder experienced improved moods after sunlight therapy. Additionally, researchers have demonstrated that increased levels of vitamin D can improve depression and other mental disorders. So get out there and get you some sunlight. Sunlight improves cognitive function. There have been recent studies that have found a correlation between high levels of vitamin D and improved cognitive function. Researchers have demonstrated that long-term high levels of sun exposure are associated with better cognitive functioning possibly because of the protective effect vitamin D has on brain cells and an increased production of serotonin and melatonin and improved circadian rhythms. The potential for sunlight exposure therapy is vast, and it's an affordable, natural, and easily attainable way to improve immune function while boasting a wide range of additional benefits. To learn more about sunlight exposure's researched effects on cancer, psoriasis, cardiovascular disease, 
prenatal nutrition, mental disorders, skin care, and more, please check out the references in the show notes below. Thank you for listening, and God bless. And that's our show. Thanks for listening, and until we meet again, enjoy every day to its fullest. Anything and Everything with Doris is produced by Your Own Production Incorporated and comes out a few days a week, so come on back. If you have an idea for a topic, you can reach us by email at yappy at post.com. Also, check us out on our social media pages by checking out all links below. Need a good laugh? Subscribe to our YouTube channel found in the links below, where you can watch our skits, video pods, and listen to our podcast all in one place. See you there. If you would like to support all that we offer, feel free to donate any amount your heart is comfortable with at paypal.me slash yuppiestudio or just click on the link below. Check our show notes below for all references and links mentioned. And as always, we thank you for joining us today. God bless.